what's up everybody? It's Ian Myers here from I Am Wellness. Thank you for watching this video and joining me. It's great to connect with everybody. How's your day going? Mine's going fantastic and I have a great recipe for you today. Um, this recipe is, in my opinion, one of the best, one of my favorite breakfast recipes. It is very simple, it's delicious, it takes five to ten minutes to make. Uh, the most challenging thing of this recipe is going to be opening up your coconut. Um, this video is not about how to open a coconut, so I've already done it, um, but you can find videos on YouTube on how to open coconuts. And also, uh, they do make tools that uh, simplify the, the, that whole process. So what we're going to be doing today is actually using the Vitamix blender or any blender that you have. I've got um, the juice from two coconuts. I've got two coconut, two coconuts meat right here. So we're going to use the coconut juice and the meat in the Vitamix, blend it for 30 to 45 seconds, and then uh, pour the coconut milk into the bowl. And that's pretty much our base. Then we're going to fill in all the other ingredients. So check this out. We're going to go ahead and get this thing going. Um, we're going to start with the coconut water, coconut juice or coconut water, whatever you want to call it. We're just having fun here, making a simple recipe. Um, I'm losing my train of thought, I don't know why. That's why I'm having this recipe. I'm gonna feel good after, after I make this. All right, so we're gonna use the Vitamix, turn it on high, and it might help if it was plugged in. I don't know, wait, no, it is plugged in. Okay, yeah. let's try this again. Turn it on high for about 30 to 45 seconds. And if you look over here, we've got bananas, Blueberries, peaches, uh, soaked Brazil nuts, and dates. This is, a, this is almost done. Pour the coconut milk. Look at that. It's beautiful. All right, so we're just going to pour that in there. I've got to make enough for two of us today, so let me just show you how I do this. Um, we're going to take the bananas, just put a few bananas around in the bowl. We're going to take the peaches, and we're going to go, these are still a little bit frozen. So if you can find fresh peaches, go for the fresh. And you can use any kind of, uh, any kind of fruit in this mixture that you want. Um, we're going we're gonna to use blueberries and the peaches. So we're going to go just a few blueberries here on top. And I kind of like the frozen fruit in the cereal because it gives it, it, gives it kind of a, a cold, a chilled type of, uh, of uh, flavor. Or not flavor, but... It just chills it, makes it, makes it a little bit more like a cereal, in my opinion. All right, we're going to take some dates and top it with the dates and a little bit of Brazil nuts. Pretty simple. And then I'm going to put some cinnamon around it. I love cinnamon. Cinnamon helps to control the blood sugar as well, so I'm big on the cinnamon. We're going to go coconut flakes here. Now, if you guys already know about coconuts, they contain... MCTs, medium chain triglyceride fats, which is actually burned in the body as the body burns it as energy, as fuel. So coconut meat, although it is a fat, it's a healthy fat. So I encourage you to give this breakfast recipe a try and, um, and uh, tune back in soon for another great recipe and some more tips. Also, you can check out my blog at IamWellness.org. I for Ian, M for Michael wellness.org. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a marvelous day. We'll talk to you soon. See ya.